Hey, this is Culver from Symmetry Electronics, and in part 3 of our video series featuring Medium 1's IoT Kit and Digi's XB3 LTEM, we'll be showing you how to program the IoT Kit to work with your application. In our previous video, we talked about how engineers can build an IoT product with little effort using Medium 1's IoT Cellular Kit. We also talked about how you can conceptualize the IoT product to fit into the cloud. Next, we'll take a look at how to program an uh, IoT product using the Medium 1. As part of the Medium 1's IoT Cellular Kit, we'll be programming the Digi's XB3 LTE M development board using MicroPython. If you want to follow along, we'll be providing the reference code on GitHub, which I'll put a link in the description below. So with the firmware that we're adding to the Digi's XB3 LTE M development board, we'll be detecting the operation of the accelerometer. Namely, we'll be trying to determine if the lid's orientation is open or closed. When the lid is open, the accelerometer would register the z-axis at 0 g's. But once we close it, the accelerometer would detect it at 1 or negative 1 g, depending on the orientation of the board itself in the lid. The Digi's XB3 will handle that processing and send it up to the cloud. The firmware that we're adding also handles how the board connects to the cloud. With each board comes a unique IMEI number, and we'll be using that as a registration number for the Medium 1 IoT platform. This allows us to use the same firmware across all boards without having to flash unique IDs. With the firmware downloaded, we will open up our XETU software. XETU is a free configuration platform for XBRF solutions offered by Digi that provides a graphical network view for simple wireless network configuration and architecture, an API frame builder development tool for quickly building XB API frames, and a firmware release notes viewer so users can explore and read firmware release notes. With the XETU software and the Digi XB connected, you want to open File System Manager, click Open, select the correct port, and click OK. Now that we have an open connection with the board, let's take the Medium 1 firmware for the pillbox and upload the main file into the XB. Now with the firmware uploaded, open the MicroPython terminal and we'll run the new program on the board. Here, it'll connect to the cellular network. Once connected, you are done and ready to start configuring your Medium 1 application. And there you have it. Your DigiBoard and your IoT kit is programmed and ready to work with your IoT platform. Be sure to watch our next video where we show you how to create workflows on Medium 1's IoT platform to work with your application. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on that video. And for all things wireless, IoT, and video, Symmetry has you covered.